AQ-1B Predator is a purely remotely controlled aircraft. In the Air Force, we refer to them as remotely piloted. In a normal aircraft, you'd normally see a cockpit. There is no window. There is nothing here except the electronics gear that operate the aircraft. No pilot in the aircraft. The pilot is, re is located on the ground. And stop. Shock it. We are in the ground control station. And if you notice, you have uh, two sets of controls, a set of controls and screens on the left, a set of controls and screens on the right. Okay, power coming on. There is a throttle and some other levers and a control stick. This is identical to flying an aircraft. This isn't a, a Nintendo war. This, we're operating an aircraft. We're just not physically sitting in it. Grizzly 2 1 ready to taxi one way one seven. All right, parking brake. East. One seven. Yep. Take off. Look clear, right? Heading one six three, that's close enough. You ready? Ready right. we go. This airport is located near the city of Victorville, California. Taking this out of Southern California, specifically we had to fly in either Iraq or Afghanistan. We have a chase plane. It's a general safety buffer that the, that the FAA prefers us to have at this point. For those of you familiar with aircraft, this is what's known as a pusher engine, as opposed to a polar one where the propeller would be located up in the front. The mission times vary between 15 and 20 plus hours. Crews can go in, they swap out every couple hours, so you always have a fresh set of eyes. Typical operating altitudes are between uh, 5,000 and 25,000 feet. Uh, it's a lot different to fly an unmanned aircraft or a remotely piloted aircraft such as this. You don't have the sensations of speed. You don't have the sensation of, of climbing or descending. You don't have the sensations of turning. You're in a static environment on the ground. It's all climate controlled, nice, safe, what we call 1G environment. Can you get me a nose camera? Okay. Wanna go? Good man. Good job, guys.